Good morning, children. Welcome to our English online class once again. Today, last class, what we did, children? One uh, lesson we completed. That is honesty plays. What was the story about? It was about one king. How he uh, selected his successor. This uh, next person who will sit in his throne, he selected Dharma because of his honesty. So that one beautiful story we completed. Today we will do one poem. So the poem name is the Little Plant. Poem name is the Little Plant, and it is on page number forty-two. So reading the heading, you can understand. We will talk about one plant. See when you study science, normal thing what you know that seed. Seed means what? Inside of fruit, what we get? Seed. Why seed is important? Because from seed only one new plant will grow. So like that one cycle means uh, all the planet uh, plants are uh, present in the nature. Because of the system means after fruit we put the seed in the soil. Once again, one the uh, uh, plant will grow. So like the cycle will go. So that is uh, when we study science. But when you study language, like English is a language, so there uh, we see it differently. Like this is one poem. Poem means what? Uh, it is in uh, like like poet or poetess. Here it is written by you see here children Kate Louise Brown. Kate Louise Brown. This uh, beautiful poem. It is written by Kate Louise Brown. I have written the name. See, it is not in a book. You can copy it. Kate Louise Brown. So when poet or poetess they uh, see something in normal thing only, but they describe in their own word. That will be very beautifully. They will describe. So that only we will learn in this poem a life cycle of a seed. How it is growing and how. Means normal, you know, with the sunlight and uh, rainwater and land. If you put in the soil with the help of sunlight, and it will grow. That in science we learn. But when poet they are writing same thing, so they will describe in a very beautiful way. So the, this poem is about that one life cycle of a seed. Okay. So I have written to explain you better. First para. It is on your book also. You can see from your book also. You see. Page number forty-two. It's a beautiful poem. Uh, poem. It's a big poem. Only three paragraphs we have uh, in our syllabus. Okay, that only I'll explain now. So let me read first. In the heart of a seed. Now one one word I will tell you by the time I read. In the heart of a seed. Now see if we uh, put the seed and new plant will grow from where the plant is coming, because with uh, within in uh, all seed no. That plant. Suppose uh, you are taking mango plant, uh, mango seed. So inside one mango plant, one small plant is already there. So when the seed, uh, environment is uh, um, positive for them, means sunlight, correct amount of temperature is there, soil it is getting or rainwater it is getting, then it will grow because the plant is already there in the seed. Understood? So it is already there. So in the heart, heart means deep inside the seed. In the heart means inside the seed. Buried means that is only buried means inside. Inside the heart of a seed, buried deep, so deep. Inside the seed, a dear little plant. It is already there. Plant is already there. What we say like a small baby, it is sleeping inside the seed. So first paragraph about the seed only in the. Heart of a seed, meet within the seed, inside the seed, buried deep. So buried means it is inside, put inside. Okay, buried deep, so deep. A dear little plant lay fast asleep. Now we know one plant is already there in the seed, but when the poet they are explaining, they are describing in words how beautifully they say they like a small baby inside it, inside the seed. This is seed. One small plant, like a baby, it is sleeping. It's already sleeping inside the seed. Okay, this is the seed inside. What is sleeping? A little plant is already sleeping. Lay fast as a little deep sleeps. Fast asleep. It is sleeping deeply inside the seed. Already it is there. Okay, so let me read once again. In the in your book also it is there, children. You can read from there also. See, in the heart of a seed. Buried deep, so deep. Deep, you understand? Inside, too much inside. It is already sleeping. A dear little plant lay fast asleep. The poetess is 
uh, imagining that see within the seed inside the seed one plant like a small baby it is already sleeping so first paragraph you understood children so here only uh, one uh, new word heart okay so that meaning i'll write now heart means so this much you understood i think heart means center center inside the seed heart means here it is center middle of the seed okay next one buried here buried now the seed where if you put on the floor or uh, on the road it on grow it it should be put in the buried means it should put inside the soil here deep so deep where deep so deep the soil this is the soil soil so inside you have to put it then only it will grow otherwise if you find your table or on the table top or on the floor it won't grow it needs soil so you have to put you have to insert the seed inside the inside the soil that is only buried so buried means what beneath the seal uh, soil buried b u so this meaning i'm telling now b u r i e d buried means beneath means under under the soil beneath b e n e a t h beneath the soil seed needs soil otherwise it cannot grow they need soil because in soil so many nutrients it will be mixed so that they need they are, that is their food when you put water no that all the nutrients it will get soft and it will go through the root to the plant leaves then they they can make the food with the help of sunlight so they make their own food so they need soil is very very important without soil it cannot grow so here deep uh, buried means deep inside the soil this is the soil means inside you have to put the seed okay next one so for this uh, paragraph only two difficult word meaning i wanted to explain heart means center whose center center of the seed center of the seed this is a seed this is a seed <clears throat> next buried means beneath the soil inside the soil so this much you understood i think one more time read in the heart of a seed buried deep so deep a dear little plant lay fast asleep it is sleeping like a small baby inside the seed and when i give uh, for writing no poem memorization few things you understand children first letter it is always capital letter in one line how many words are there that you should write i think previous one test what you people did know like uh, three words you are writing then off you are taking in second line no how the poet is writing like that you should follow you don't change anything first letter is capital plus each line how many words are there along with comma comma full stop whatever is there punctuation mark that also better you write don't change the line don't change the word means here uh, how many words are there up to seed you should write in first line here buried and deep first and last word it should be line wise word wise you should write okay that is a way to write poem so this one thing you remember okay and i'll go to second paragraph now uh, that poet is uh, how beautifully she is explaining see here she is telling now this uh, the baby plant is sleeping inside the seed and seed is where inside the soil it is beneath the soil but if you live like this that plant will never grow that uh, that baby plant it won't come out from the soil for that what happen this sunshine the sun is coming and telling wait wait means get up get up don't sleep so much wait said the sunshine said the sunshine okay so so beautifully she is explaining see sun is coming and say for whom for the baby plant inside the seed wake up wake up wake said the sunshine and creep to the light means telling for the baby plant creep means you just grow up you just come out from the seed and come up towards me means you just come out from your seed 
for the baby plant sun is telling okay this is sun so here one uh, this side i'll rub now this side finish children so i tell you now for understanding now the poem is very easy one normally what you learnt in uh, science that only language when you are uh, uh, saying the same thing it will be differently you are explaining okay so that is the beauty of language we explain it in different way so here creep so it is a new word creep that meaning i'll write now creep c r e e p creep creep means move slow, uh, slowly on the ground move slowly on the ground move slowly on the ground on the ground okay so wake said the sunshine and creep to the light sun is telling you creep to the light it just come out towards me then only the plant will grow now next wake now one more time who is telling now this rain is telling wake said the voice of the rain drops bright so now sun is also calling the rain is also calling this rain is also calling for the baby plant then wake get up get up said the voice of the rain drops bright so one more time wake said the sunshine and creep to the light wake said the voice of the rain drops bright so understood now it was sleeping inside the seed and it was the seed was inside the soil now sunlight is coming calling uh, the uh, baby plant wake up wake up rain is also coming it is uh, calling wake up wake up okay so this much i understood a third paragraph so here this one you read wake said the sunshine and creep to the light wake said the voice of the rain drops bright read up to here now we'll discuss the last last para third para hmm? see the little plant had now uh, a sunshine then uh, this one um, rain drops all are waking up the falling out the seed inside the soil so everybody is telling and coming wake up wake up and see outside world is so beautiful how long you can sleep so here last para is about that the little plant heard heard means past tense of here heard means past tense of here means it listen so he that uh, little plant inside the seed he just heard the voice of sunshine and uh, raindrops so the little plant heard and it woke up to the woke up to see woke means see here got up from sleep hmm? got up from sleep this is wake past tense of wake is woke so and it woke to see how wonderful my this wonderful so beautiful our outside world inside the soil what is there it is full dark nothing is there when it come out from the soil outside world it seems it is so beautiful nature is so beautiful no so how wonderful might the outer world be the outer world be our nature is so beautiful if come us mean you can see so the little plant heard and it woke to see how wonderful might the outer world be so finally the plant it came out from the seed and it just grew to a beautiful plant so normally what we know that you put the seed and a sunshine and rain water for get means it just grow into a plant so that much we learn in science but when you learn in language so beautifully they explain same thing they so beautifully they explain that one seed if you put inside the soil it inside it one baby plant will be sleeping so then sunshine is coming wake up wake up then rain water is coming and telling wake up wake up and afterwards 
the little plant in the seed it just heard the voice and it just woke to see how beautiful our outside world is so that is a uh, full uh, life cycle of a seed we learned in the poem is a beautiful poem it is written by kate louis brown so new words also i i explain now i'll do the exercise children now page number 43 you see is very small chapter children today only you can finish very small chapter only you just uh, read it properly read it and uh, learn the uh, poem memorization it can come from test poem normally we give for memorization so page number 43 i'll do now exercise this much i'll read you understood the poem and the uh, children is very simple poem but beautiful poem exercise now only will do page number 43 true or false children now true or false i am doing page number 43 so first one what they gave the plant is asleep in the soil no children the plant is asleep it's in the seed not soil seed is inside the soil but plant is sleeping in the seed so sentence is wrong first one is wrong f a l s e you write first answer you write false next you write the seed is in the soil yes seed is inside the soil true second one is true the little uh, seed does not want to wake up no it is sleeping but it woke up you see it it uh, wanted to get up that's why it came out no this beautiful plant from the seed so that is wrong the little seed does not want to wake up no it wanted to get up so false you write and this is wrong false you write in the textbook you do uh, write in directly okay children the little seed found the world beautiful wonderful yes outside world is very very beautiful it is true number 5 the little seed did not hear the voice of the sun no it heard so that is also wrong right false it heard and it get got up okay so it is wrong so number 1 false true false true false okay finished next one it is match question answer you will get in the pdf now match one how many are there one two three four five two three four and five this is match okay this i finish and rab now this one match five are there now what is the question about matching but uh, what uh, uh, what is the question you match the movement with the things see uh, different different uh, thing movement we have some different name like how baby will uh, uh, until they learn to walk before that they we say baby is crawling so their movement is uh, given some name so like that here the movement name is there and the thing is there you have to match first let me write c r e e p creep next is crawl c r a w l crawl leap l e a p leap jump j u m p jump hop h o p hop here you see first one they gave baby b a b y baby next they gave rabbit R A B B I T rabbit insect I N E C C T insect kangaroo 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 you have seen I think their first front two legs are very small but B L back side uh, legs are very long and it is very very strong so kangaroo and uh, frog F R O G frog. Now see, baby. Normally we say crawl. Baby, they crawl. So write the number here. After uh, beside baby, you write number two. Baby normally they crawl until they learn to walk. 
so they crawl on uh, on the floor so crawl baby crawl rabbit what we say rabbit they hop rabbit they hop ha huh? they hop number 5 you write okay now insect normally creep insect they crawl uh, creep like um, uh they that is not called uh, walking or some insect normally they crawl they just crawl like a cockroach imagine one cockroach how they walk that is only crawl uh, they creep we say creep they creep so insect creep you right number 1 one. one next one kangaroo kangaroo is leaf number 3 frog jump number 4 now see kangaroo also they jump frog also jumps so what is the difference between leap and jump you know because for leap i told you kangaroo that left uh, front two are where legs are very small but uh, la last two legs back side legs is very long and it is very very strong so they give one jump is they cover very big distance that is only called leap for leaping no they covered a very big distance they one jump is they very big distance they can cover that is a difference okay but jump and hop little distance so this is leap leap means one jump they can cover a long distance uh, and the jump means little distance so jump this is jump so this small distance they can cover understood the difference because kangaroo they have very uh, strong tail also plus their hind the uh, back side legs are very very strong so one jump is they can cover a lo long distance okay they can cover long distance so that is only called leap that is the difference between jump and jump and leap understood so creep insect crawl baby leap kangaroo jump frog hop rabbit okay so this much understood now next main they have given rhyming word the rhyming word means what two words sound will be same but spelling may be different meaning all they are different so that is called rhyming word. normally in poem and all we use rhyming word okay sound will be same next next uh main is rhyming word first word is seed s e e d seed deer and fast so two two rhyming word you should write for seed we can write weed and feed weed and feed now see it is almost same first letter it is changed rhyming was normally first letter will be changed remaining letters will be same so seed weed and feed weed means what sometimes when you are uh, garden you are growing many plants no some unwanted plants also it will grow with along with the our rose plant or whatever we want along with that some unwanted uh, plant it will grow that is called weed okay so that is unwanted not good then feed means you know mummy feeds Uh, making someone eat that is only feed. Next one, deer. Deer, you can write bear. Bear one animal is there. Fear. Ah, uh, fear means you know you are scared of something. That is fear. Fast. Next is fast. I can last or past. You can write last. L A S T. Last. You know first and last. Past means what already happened. Past. Okay. this side another two other might and lay so this much you write in a book seed weed feed weed feed 
dear, bear, fear, fast, last, and fast. Another two. Our exercise will be completed. See, might. Last two words, might. M I G H T. Might. And lay. L A Y. Lay. For this, I can write might. Light, I can write L I G H T. Light. One more word, I can write sight. Seeing that is sight, S I G H T sight. Sight is related to seeing. Lay I can write pay. You pay the bill, write the pay, or say I can write anything. You can write. It should be uh, rhymed with along with this word. So this uh, lesson completed, children. When you next class, I'll do next uh, lesson. So one poem is over in between. So today this much. Uh, today's homework. This only you can do, children. That rhyming one. Ha! This one you can do. I'll, I'll give today's homework. English homework. Learn and write meanings. Meanings and rhyming words. And rhyming words. One time, you know. Rhyming words. One time in homework book. One time in homework book. Okay, refer from where you write. Refer textbook page page forty two and forty three. Page forty two, forty three. So this is today's homework. English homework meanings and rhyming words. One time in English homework book. See from the textbook. Okay, thank you, children. Have a good day.